I was reporting for cadred.org and since I'm in Finland I thought I may as well interview some Finnish people. Uh, I got the guys from Crystal Sky uh, representatives and that's uh, you hits on the end but his English isn't so good or rather he just doesn't understand me. Uh, I got Martello who's going to uh, act as translator and mediator. So um, I guess first thing uh, you've been coming to uh, assembly for a long long time. Uh, it is the big Finnish land. Uh, can you kind of Tell us a little bit about it and, and your experiences coming to it. Mm, well, our experiences, uh, I think Juha, he has like experiences from like... Monet uh, asut sä kävit? No, viiden. He has been on like five or six assemblies. And me, myself, I've been going around Finnish lands for like uh, one and a half years maybe. And like one year for competitive, so it's my first assembly. So I, I think it's a nice event. I like it here. My personally, that's I well, that's I think I was just. Ah, said Blue is best Finnish land. Yeah. Because uh, one thing I noticed was you've got the uh, kind of tournament, which is tucked away in this tiny little room. Yeah. It's... And then when you go out into the arena, all the casual players, it's you know, it's yeah. it's massive. So yeah, it's... is it strange having the tournament be the sideshow? Yeah, it's really strange. I mean. If it came down to me, it would be like all the tournament stuff would be like in there. Because mm -hmm. I mean, when we were like playing here, it doesn't even feel like we're at assembly. It just yeah. feels like we're at some bar playing some games. So it's <laughs> kind of weird. I, I, I personally don't like it. That's I what me other stuff so I go. Kaikki normit na kasuale pelaat on tuol ja niinku na pro turnaukset on täällä niinku eristetty. Mitä se siitä tulee? Kyllä mä sit tykkään tosi paljon, että on se kiva, että ne on erikseen tuolla. Yeah, he likes that they're uh, separated, so yeah. I don't think he really cares that much about <laughs> it. As you can see, probably see from his expression, so... Yeah. Um, you've had a pretty good result uh, in terms of getting a draw with uh, everyone, the, the team everyone thinks are going to win the group, which is Maud, the Danish. Uh, were you expecting to get out of the group when you first started playing the tournament? Um, for for me personally, I think it's it's better to always go to a LAN and and expect to win everyone. At least in Finland, I mean, it's it, it, the the difference in skill really isn't that big here. So it's like maybe Rock Rockat is kind of the only one that is gonna destroy like yeah. everyone basically, and that always about happens. Uh, back when there was Exelon, it was different because they always beat them at assembly, so it was different. But um, yeah, I think our expectations were like uh, to get out of groups at first, but I, I don't think we were really expecting to beat Mod, but we were still like all of us were saying in our heads that we were going to destroy them. Yeah. And uh, uh, the match, it, it, was, it was a really weird match. I mean, they they had like, uh, they had probably like much better players than, than we supposedly have, because yeah. we're pretty much unknown. I mean, we are good, but nobody really knows us. Mm. So. Um, when we went into the match, it was like, uh, what the fuck is happening? When we, we were at CT side and they weren't getting any rounds, yeah. I, must, I myself personally were just play, uh, flaming the hell out of them. <laughs> it was it was a, it was like really nice, and we were also screwing screwing up rounds really badly during the T side. So, and but they screwed it up worse. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think? I mean, realistically though. It's going to be either the Danish or Team Rock at that win, or do you think we could see a really big surprise here? Um, uh, since Menace is out, I think the only so called dark horses around are us. Mitä sä oot ihan mieltä siitä, että kun tota, kun Menace, siis kun, että tuleeko sulle mitään niinku musti hevosi, koska kaksi noin niinku nauhoitti ja noin muuta. Rockat vielä teikit. So you definitely think Rock at. Uh, Except for me, because I'm always like, ever gonna beat everyone. <laughs> well, Rock Hat haven't done that well at Finnish events uh, in the past. You know, they've done well internationally, uh, apart from recently when they've not been able to practice. Yeah, but, uh, you know, if, if Finnish events, sometimes they've had second places, third places. Do you think maybe that the fact that everyone knows their game so well could be a factor once they make it to the semis? 
Yeah, yeah it actually is. I mean, in Finland, I, I always hear in every interview, Angel does this being like the fucking Finnish people. I mean, they're they're so retarded that they just they just can't stand it. I mean, uh, and we know it as well. When we we are practicing against them, all we're doing is playing completely like. Uh, like straightforward because they never expect that I mean they're always like cracking for good teams and when, when they play against crap teams they always like crumble around a bit Mitä sä oot Juha tuosta mieltä? Että rokkatti toi ja toi että rokkatti että minkä takia rokkatti on pärjännyt suomilainen niin hyvin niin kuin silleen sisassa syy tavallaan Niillä on niin paljon enemmän kokemusta kuin muita että ne osaa kääntää sen pelin voitoksi ihan tosta noin vaan Well he's saying that uh, Rocket has so much experience that um, even though they have they crumble around a bit, that they always have so much experience that they can like take it home. Except against Excel, because that always was yeah. was kind of bad. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit. It's a, off topic, but uh, just about national service. Uh, I, I know it's a weird question, but uh, I'm always fascinated by Scandinavian countries that sort of have it. And I know Finland in particular. Um, people kind of get sucked out of the gaming world and and, and put into uh, you know for a long period of time the, the military and we don't have that in the UK uh, how do you kind of balance that normal life knowing you're gonna end up in the military and how does it kind of impact on the fun stuff that you want to do and do you guys like it or do you guys dislike it um, me personally I think um, it's nice to have. I mean, I, I, I kind of like the idea of it because uh, when you're sitting around for like uh, five days in a week playing video games and then you go into the army and you get like your strength back, kind of, kind of, uh, how should I put this? You remember, you know the feeling when you're a kid that you can like do anything and, and never really feel, uh, feel like um, you can't really move so fast anymore. And, and when you, I mean, I mean, um, when you're like a body just starts to break down from just playing too much games. Yeah. I mean, I think for that it's really great because people really don't have, um, at least Finnish geeks don't really have that much of, um, what's the word? Um, um, well, well you, you're probably getting what I mean. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, the gamers, they usually just tend to, uh, or at, at least me, um, they just tend to push it uh, back, mm. just pr making some excuse like school or yeah, something. Yeah. You can always do that if you want to, but um, yeah, for me it's like it's like fifty-fifty. It, it it can be there or it can't, uh, or it doesn't have to be there. It's like and uh, same question to your fr colleague. Mit on sot mieltä armeijasta? Et mik mitä se vaikuttaa niinku pelaamiseen? Se vaikuttaa aika pahalta tavalla, että sitä voisi vähän siirtää, siirtää tota, mun mielestä pidemmälle. Että vähän liian nuorena sinne joutuu kumminkin menemään, että mu muuten se on hyvä asia. Joo. Yeah. Um, he's saying that it's, uh, in Finland it sucks, because it's like at 18, so, mm. so, and it's, it's too early, because yeah. people are like uh, um, way too young. Well, uh, at least gamers, they, they always feel like they don't just want to go there uh, then, so. Yeah, I think it's too early, and I as well. Now that he said it, I think as well that um, it just sucks that it's so early. Yeah, and you should have really have an easier way of uh, kind of stretching it out, so you can get your stuff done and then go to the army. Um, want to ask you a little bit as well just about CS:GO because I'm asking everyone you know about that. And, you know, it's. Uh, knocking on the door so to speak it's nearly here it's going to be released in a couple of weeks i think it might even be less than that uh what do you guys think about it because you know you css players and i'm being finished obviously you've got other distractions like what we're talking about have you given any thoughts to global offensive whether you guys would be switching and what do you think of the game um FPS on tulevaisuus, että kyllä se tulee ole paljon parempi kuin Source. He's, he's saying that it is actually the future of the FPS games. Um, and I actually agree with him. Uh, I've only been playing for like 11 hours or something and I think it's way better than Source. I mean, the hitboxes are great. Um, the only thing that really just bothers me are the smokes, but I hope, and I think that it will get fixed. 
Yeah. I mean, they have to. It's yeah. it's horrible at the moment because you like put two sm smokes down in a, in short day, and, and suddenly someone just headshots you through the smoke randomly. It's it's it really sucks. But yeah, um, the game is definitely, in our opinion, gonna be better than Source. It's weird because I get very different answers. Like I interviewed the mod guys, and they were like. Go is fucking shit. I, I th to use the yeah, quote. Yeah, Nico, I heard Nico. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, why why can't people agree on it? Uh, you know, why do you think people would dislike it? Um, I think it's okay for me to answer this question. That maybe it's it's stuff like just game styles, or that it just doesn't fit. Me personally, I'm I'm like a high sensitivity player. For some, for me, it's really easy to pick up a new game new FPS game because I don't have to do all the muscle memory thing so uh, of course I don't know it's it's pr probably just personal preference there are so many things that are new in the game that there uh, there, there just can be so many things that people just don't like so yeah I don't know but our really our opinion is that the game is gonna be so much better than source and I really hope it will just fix the fix the normal fix the problems with it, Molotov cocktails and and the stuff, and I think it'll be great. Uh, so to kind of wrap it up, uh, final question. I'll, I'll aim it at both of you guys. I know you're kind of a mixed team, but not you're a group of friends that kind of play together yeah. regularly, especially you two, who are kind of like bros. You know, I, I, I get that. <laughs> um, but uh, what plans do you guys have? I mean, because you don't compete a lot outside of Finland. Uh, do you have any plans to maybe get to one of the bigger CSS lands before the game kind of makes way for Global Offensive? What do you think about it? Before we change the game to CSGO, how do you think about it? Do you think about Source? 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 Yeah, he's saying that um, uh, for us, I, I think... Um, that CSGO is gonna be the next game for us, so we are really don't want to touch it. And okay. the other thing that he said was that our goals in it will be top one everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I think it's. I think it, it might, might sound absurd, but yeah, that's of course. What new game, new start. Why not? Yeah, why not? Um, what, what about yourself? I mean, would you not like to get to something like an I series or something before the game dies, like Source? You know, yeah, it would be like ridiculously amazing. Cause me, I. I pre actually prefer people that are not from Finland. I mean, I, I really don't like Finnish people, most of them at least, you know. And I, I was like, like when Nico came here, because yeah. Angel Dust was just handled some, uh, you know, the green smoke. Yeah, he was, yeah. he was, he needed some, so uh, we we did that, and and we had a good laugh with him, and it was really nice just speaking with him. So, and having played World of Warcraft and all, all of that stuff, and being just used to. Um, speaking with non-Finnish people. So for me, yeah, uh, Europe land, best thing ever. Well, I hope to see you at one. If you do get to iSeries, which is only a few weeks away, so it's not likely, but if you do, uh, look me up. I'll give you the guided tour. I've been to so many of them. I'm getting a bit old. And uh, Thanks to you as well for uh, struggling through with my accent. Oh, okay. can I say one more thing? Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm a fucking big fan of you, man. You have the most amazing interviewing skills there are. I mean, every time I look oh, at shucks. YouTube, it's amazing. Uh, thanks, man. It means a lot. It's nice to talk to guys like you as well. So, uh, cheers. Really, really appreciate that. So, I'm going to try not to blush as I do my roundup. Uh, but yeah, that was the guys from uh, Crystal Sky. So, uh, do stay tuned to the website. We're going to have more interviews just like this one uh, from here at Assembly Summer 2012.